Welcome back everyone, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me today to this new episode marathon of music with Nick. Today we got some um, new music, literally uh, I've only reacted I think to one band here. This is from Narvik. Thank you Narvik for sponsoring this marathon. I'm super excited. All these songs are past the seven minute mark. Ex just one is a short like intro. I guess it's a normal song. It's two minutes and 56 seconds. But for us prog heads, that is like the intro of like something. But yeah, this is for Narvik. Um, thank you so much, Narvik. It's super nice to see you on the channel. I know you're always on the road traveling um, and you're busy. You're a busy man. So I'm super happy to, to have you back. And uh, also you were like, hey, you know, Let's let's do a marathon, and I love it. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, appreciate it. And um, we're gonna do four bands because of the songs are a little bit on the longer side. We're gonna do Lucifer's Friend, Ride the Sky from the album Awakening. I've never heard them. This is from. Uh, oh wait a minute! I do remember this. I do remember the cover. Um, I'll look it up in a second. Then we're gonna do Atomic Rooster. I've done this before as well. Uh, Death Walks Behind You from the same album of the same name, 1970. Ooh, this looks good. Then Trapeze Jury from Medusa, 1970. And we're going to do some stat status quo. And this is a German name called Umleitung. Umleitung means basically when you're being rerouted. Uh, yeah, pretty much. And then Dog of Two... Dog of Two Head is the it's 1971. Let's give give me a second. I want to look up Luf, Lufus, Lucifer's friend. Um, Lucifer's friend, Awakening. Because it says 2017 there, that's obviously wrong. Or maybe it is right. German rockers. Hamburg. 1970. Yeah, I'm happy I looked. Because, yeah. Oh, Lucifer's friend was known for changing musical styles and influences on each other. The self-titled 1970 de debut had dark lyrics and stripped down guitar and organ style in the in the style of Deep Purple, Uriah Heep, Zeppelin, and Black Sabbath. Oof, we're in for a treat here. Okay, this is the shorter song, but hey, doesn't matter. Let's go with Lucifer's friend, Right the Sky. Here we go. Thank you. 
Wow, this sounds a little bit this. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. That sounds literally like immigrant song by Led Zeppelin. So they were not kidding. And the singer sounds literally like Dio, you know? Um, literally, like, really cool. He just passed away, John Lawton, 2021. Um, at 74. Wow. And then it's crazy because, like, the drummer says died 1974 who dies in 1974 you know that's crazy when i see that like they're born in a 30 year old you know like but it's you know it is what it is um let's continue this is a great band i love it lucifer's friend awesome <laughs> I'm so I'm right now I'm kind of excited because um there's going to be this birthday party for a very good friend um uh, Alexia's and mine friend too as well and her husband he has been on the show his name is Andres and his wife Ale Alexandra and uh would we're doing her 30th birthday you know so we're going to play so she wanted us to play her husband plays the drums so She's like, hey, you guys should really play. So we're doing a bunch of songs. We're going to do Black Sabbath, Deep Purple, Metallica, Iron Maiden, Audio Slave, ACDC. Um, so I'm relearning all these songs, and they're so fun. And today I just sat down for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and literally I, I remembered all of the songs. I have to literally, it's because as a teenager, you know, I used to play all this stuff. And... Uh, so basically, all I don't, the only thing I don't remember is the solos. And it's so cool because now I know all this stuff about improvisations. I'm just going to improvise everything. So I'm super stoked about this. And um, so, yeah, that's a lot of fun. You know, the ACDC, and we're going to do some Led Zeppelin, um, Black Sabbath, the Purple Led Zeppelin, Iron Maiden, Metallica, Priest. Um, and some other stuff. It's just really cool. Like, it was a lot of fun because today, and Alexia's gonna sing. So today we were like rehearsing, Alexia and I, and it was just a great morning because Alexia was off today. And, um, and I work from home, so I can always take, you know, 20, 30 minutes to do this and to, you know, play heavy metal with my wife. It's awesome. Okay. So the, now we're getting into the, into the, Big um, Atomic Rooster, 7 minutes, 29 seconds, Death Walks Behind You. Um, these guys are not from Germany. These are from England. Uh, these chaps, progressive rock, hard rock, blue-eyed soul. Wow, I never heard that term, blue-eyed soul. Um, here we go, Atomic Rooster. They're on tour, by by the way. Super dark.
I love when in heavy metal when you do when you play the chromatic scale it sounds so dark. I love it. And also um, at one time not on this specific recording uh Carl Palmer was the drummer. So yeah. This is really good. And uh the guy who is playing right now actually um this is John Ducan on guitars and vocals, Vincent Crane on the organ and on keyboards, and then Paul Hammond on the drums and percussion. Isn't that awesome? It's like it's like if I my name was like Nicholas Fender, you know? <laughs> Nicholas like <laughs> Nicholas Ibanez, which is possible, you know, but Fender is like a little bit more far fetched. Very cool. I love it. Start to scream, shout for help. There is no one by your side to forget what is done. Seems so hard to carry on. Darkest foes headed near. Bring yourself to understand. It's your fate.
Very cool. Very, very cool. Very cool, like proggy, but not too proggy. Um, and it reminded me, honestly, a little bit more of like early Iron Maiden, early Judas Priest, like that kind of stuff. They're on tour. They're going to be in Bremen in Germany on uh, November 27th. And then Ver Verviers in, on, on November 29th. And then uh, Aschaffenburg. November 30th, and then in Dresden, December 1st. So if you're in Germany, you know, check it out. Check them out. Um, I would totally go. Like, I would drive two hours anywhere now that I've done. Now that we did the power trip, that was flying, you know, <laughs> three hours and driving another two hours. It was worth it. I still can't believe that some people were like, oh, we, I don't know any band, like, like, when were you born? In the 20s? You know, like, literally. <laughs> I, like, I don't know any bands. I don't know what you're talking about. ACDC, I mean, come on. They're, like, literally from the 60s and 70s. But, no. Uh, Judas Priest, 70s. Mid-70s. Iron Maiden, they started in the 70s, released their first album in 1980 or 79. Metallica, okay, that one... I understand, 83, but still, I mean. And then Guns N' Roses, yeah, I get it. That was like 84 or 85. Tool, I totally understand, if you don't know Tool. But I was like, when were you born, man? I mean, like, are you born, like, in the in the 1910s? Um, <laughs> like, literally, because the per And if you see this, like, please explain. But he was like, I don't know any of these bands, so I've... Like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, ACDC, Judas Priest, Iron Maiden, Metallica. Uh, I was just like, wow, I can't believe it. Um, So, and I'm all for, you know, if you listen to what you like, you know, if you like, you know, Yes and Emerson, like in Parliament, but at least, you know, give bands from 40 years ago a chance, you know. So, yeah, that's me doing my typical rant. Uh, okay, so this new this band I've never heard of, Trapeze. I'm going to look them up, but let's go. Let's, move, let's, let's keep it moving. Eight minutes and ten seconds. Jury. England, 69. Stop the music playing loud and clear. Glenn Hughes on the voice. Distort now the vision. Okay, so this is, I saw, I just saw Glenn Hughes live. That was a trip that you have to go. If you catch him, do yourself a favor, go. He was on, on a tour with Ingrid Malmsteen. I mean, each of them were doing the, their sets. 
he played some amazing Deep Purple live, like Highway Star. Man, to hear that live, that was a trip. So Trapeze, he was the the vocalist, and then of course he's he has was famous for Black Sabbath and Deep Purple. Dave Holland is on the drums here. Judas Priest drummer from from seventy nine to eighty four. Um, troubled man, like unfortunately he was very troubled and he passed away. Mel Galley, White Snake and Phenom Phenomena. That one I've never heard of. But um, let's look him up here. Uh, guitars. Okay, cool. White Snake. Well, Steve Vai, I guess, must have replaced him. I don't know. But uh, I love Glenn Hughes. He was very positive. Um, I've heard some like comments that he's like not the nicest guy. He was super nice. He was super nice. He wouldn't stop talking about... Um, Tommy Bolin and uh, how he loved Denver and very cool, very, very beautiful man. Like, I really enjoyed it. Let's continue. I, I, I like his singing. You know, it's very high pitched, but it's like it remi reminds me of Rob Halford, Judas Priest. Yeah. 
man he would do that kind of stuff on when we saw him live that you know that really high pitched falsetto wow that was so good and um literally right now he sounded like that's what rob halford used to sound like he still does it and um man oh here's the show that we went to 50th and 50th anniversary and it was loud it was so loud but i love this kind of rock is my favorite rock like this kind of like early judas priest early deep purple you know black sabbath even though I don't know, Black, I mean, Black Sabbath and Deep Purple so well, but now that I've done this channel, you know, I guess I could do more, but I, that's like the rock that I love the most. Um, I don't know. Uh, also playing, you know, I mean, I don't know. I, I like to play everything. Like, what am I talking about? <laughs> let's, let's continue. <laughs> oh, come on. Not over. Stop the music from playing loud and clear Distort now the And pull down the shutters for damnation is near So good. Very cool. I love it. I love it. I was looking for another song, but all these are BMG. They're from Germany, um, a German label. And I'm looking for something because if it gets blocked, then I don't know what to do um, because it's either BMG and they're kind of like, they're like UMG. They're like, we don't care. Let's see this. This was, mm, I don't know. Like, I, I, I'm just going to try and keep it like this for now. Um, or I could add a song by Warner Brothers. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to think about, let's do the last one. Umleitung, status quo. Like, I've, that's a band that I've never heard, but I've heard the name.
I didn't know that status quo rocked so hard. Like I thought there was some, I don't know. I didn't think anything. Uh, I I had no idea. It's a really good jam band. I love what they're doing here. This is just (laughs) fantastic. Like that's the music that you put on and just like, they're just improvising, you know, and it's not like the most technical stuff, but it works, man. It's really good. It's really good. So, um, so I did a little bit of research, uh, but I'm going to talk about that once we're done with the song.
cool i love it okay so i have decided that to be on the safe side we have to include another song that's by warner brothers that's just otherwise it's going to end up blocked and it's going to only be visible on patreon so just keep that in mind guys when you select your songs to help me out um i'm gonna do a short one i'm gonna do deep purple because it's already where you know, we heard some um uh uh my god, my my brain just shut off. Um what's his name? I just had him right here. Glenn Hughes. So uh so we're gonna keep it with Glenn Hughes. So sorry for you know all you um Ian Ian uh Gillen and um uh Roger Glover. Um, fans, we're going to do the third lineup of Deep Purple, which is the Burn album, but we're not going to do from the Burn album. And I know and, and it has like one of my favorite songs, Mistreated. He's, he did that live. Oh, man. Like Alexa was losing her mind. She, she loved it. We're going to do from the album Stormbringer. So this is a totally different lineup. So on the vocals, we have David Coverdale, also White Snake. And then Glenn Hughes on the bass, John Lord, Ian Pierce, and Richie Blackmore. Those are the originals. So we're going to play the song called Sol Soldier of Fortune. It's a short one, but it's the mo one of, it's one on the top 10 of their list. So let's let's go for that. Here we go.
I love Deep Purple, like, I love, and even with all the different vo vocalists and stuff, man, I love this whole, like, mixing in, from Deep Purple to Black Sabbath, and then all these amazing artists who, who I didn't even know that the guy from White Snake was in Deep Purple, and then that Glenn Hughes, I mean, I found out when we went to see him that night, and then I was like, oh my god, I heard Mistreated the first time on the Ingrid Malmsteen record, Inspirations. What a song. And this was a great tune, and it sounded very much of the Richie Blackmore style, you know, the way he writes, um, his chord progressions, his solos. He's just a good freaking musician, man. Like, say what you will, I know he's kind of like a douchebag. <laughs> Uh, but hey, you know, sometimes you have to be, you have to play a role. I mean, look at Ingwie Malmsteen. I love him to death, but he's just who he is, you know. Not everybody likes him. I love him. The day we went to see Glenn Hughes, after that we saw Ingwie Malmsteen, it was the most amazing thing ever. He li literally looked into my eyes, like, you know, threw some pics at everyone. And what a great, what a great night. That was amazing. Um, this was great. Thank you so, so much again, um, everybody, for watching. Thank you again so much, um, uh, Narvik, for this request. This was a lot of fun. I I mean, literally all four bands just killed it. I learned something new, and then we added some Sabbath to the mix. Um, a Sabbath, some Deep Purple. So, perfect. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.